गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट एम्ब्रायोनिक स्टेम सेल्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो इन आवर लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट स्टेम सेल्स व्हाट इज स्टेम सेल एंड विद डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्टेम सेल्स एंड देयर एप्लीकेशंस so if you want to check that video you can the link is in the description box today we will specifically talk about embryonic stem cells so embryonic stem cells are generally derived from the inner cell mass of an embryo so we already know that the embryo initially contains two cell layers one is trophoblast and the other is inner cell mass so from the inner cell mass we can collect the embryonic stem cells and they produce all the three germ layers such as ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm let's talk about the isolation of embryonic stem cells so a fertilized embryo is required for the isolation and here we will take the blastocyst that is 4 to 5 days post fertilization so this is the blastocyst we have and cells are harvested so cells are isolated from that blastocyst uh, and the inner cell mass is removed from that and placed in culture and then we will see the viable cells so the viable cells will be chosen and will be expanded further next is the differentiation of embryonic stem cells so stem cells are cultured without an adherent surface and uh, then the cells will be aggregated and that time we can call them the embryonic body and we will allow the spontaneous differentiation of the embryonic body and that will generate all the three germ layers like ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm and the cell culture that could be used to form the embryonic body uh, suspension culture hanging drop culture and semi solid media okay and uh, the lineages and identities of differentiated cell types can be analyzed using real time pcr flow cytometry immunocytochemistry western blotting biomarker analysis etc so here you can see these are some embryonic stem cells and they are allowed to form embryoid body and from that embryoid body uh, endoderm mesoderm ectoderm will form and we know that endoderm will generate uh, different cells such as cardiac muscle cells skeletal muscle cells smooth muscle cell kidney cell blood cell etc and the mesoderm will be differentiated into lung cell thyroid cell pancreatic cell etc and the ectoderm will be differentiated into skin cell neuron pigment cell etc let's talk about the applications of uh, embryonic stem cells so the embryonic stem cells have the potential to produce every type of cell in the body hence they are used in regenerative medicine and they are used to treat heart failure tooth degeneration and own healing embryonic stem cells are used in drug development and toxicology testing embryonic stem cells are used to grow healthy new tissues to heal injuries and reverse disease Embryonic stem cells are used for studying cellular differentiation, signal transduction pathway, cancer, genetic defects, early human development, etc. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.